Assalamu alaikum everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna look at two different ETFs. So we're gonna look at the iShares um, ETF, which is ISWD, and we're gonna look at another one called Amal, which I've actually come across very recent. So I'm gonna give you all the information that you need. If you're interested to know about more about iShares, iShares is run by a company called BlackRock, which is the biggest company, one of the biggest ETF providers in America. They have three different ETFs, okay so the first one is the emerging markets then you've got the the one that we're looking at today which is the world and then you've got the um the u.s based so all the companies that are in the u.s based is basically from the U U u.s only this is mixed of around the world and then is this one focuses only emerging markets if you're interested and want to know a bit more about these companies or these etfs please have a look at the video that i've done about i think a while back so have a look at one of those videos and let me know if you have any questions so the first one we're going to look at in today's video is this one okay iswd this is the world islamic so the first thing we're going to look at is the performance so if you had purchased this okay for about 10 years ago let's let me show you the graph first okay so one of the things if you put ten thousand pounds at the beginning of maybe say around april this time last year okay i'm not sure why this is not loading up let me try one more time so if you invested ten thousand dollars okay in this etf in april 2020 you would have made about four thousand dollars okay so right now you would have had fourteen thousand dollars okay over fourteen thousand dollars so that's really good to see the fact that is you don't really have to do much you buy and hold it you might have to pay a little bit of money obviously for the company to maintain it but you would have made you know four thousand pounds easily without having to do anything whereas when we're doing stocks obviously you have to do the research you have to read the reports and be careful and all that stuff whereas the etfs you buy and hold and you don't worry about it now if you bought this basically etf um first year you basically you would have made about 45 um basically for 45 percent return three years nine percent five years almost ten percent ten years about seven percent and then since inception since it actually started it would have you would have been basically made about five percent so again that's really good to see you know the the fact that is actually tracking very well the benchmark and the benchmark is basically the index it tracks okay one of the things i like about this is distributions that means it's actually it will they will pay you a dividend and if we look at it so in november and in may they pay you about this much for each share so it changes every year obviously but you gain about 28 cents and then 22 cents for those so if you add those two together you'll probably get about 50 cents for basically holding one share which is really good in case per share and currently trading um, at 40 dollars but in pounds i think it's about 29 pounds and i'll show you that in in a second i think i've got it somewhere there we go about 29 pounds per um, per share that you basically invest okay which is really good okay that's not too expensive so you can buy loads of shares hold it and basically leave it okay now we've seen the performance let's now have a look at the key um, things so one of the things i want to show you is the total expense ratio which is how much you will pay the company so blackrock or iShares to maintain this to keep it for you and obviously add changes stocks and so on so the maintenance cost basically will be about 0.6 percent so what that means if you invested ten thousand dollars okay you would pay about six dollars per year that's basically what you will do okay the next thing we're going to look at is the dividend so let me quickly show you i think it's about one percent there we got distribution yield or the dividend yield is 1.26 not bad at all and again p ratio is about slightly expensive at the moment okay and the beta is basically less than one percent which means it's not that volatile okay it's very good to know this because it's important because you don't want to buy an etf that just fluctuates very quickly and but this kind of tracks more or less the overall markets which is very good to see now let's have a look at the holdings in this etf and then we will move on to the other etf now when you look at this straight away you can see johnson and johnson is one of the biggest u.s companies you can see nestle for example which i think is a french company procter and gamble intel adobe roach which is again a i think it's a swiss healthcare company exmo again they've got the oil companies as well you've got the your sales force you've got another i think it's 
Swiss company. I can't remember where they were based, but anyway, another healthcare company. And in this ETF, you've got 345. No, it's not actually. Let me go back to the top and I'll show you exactly how many stocks are in or how many companies are listed. Okay, there we go. 332 holdings. 332. So it's very well diversified. So that's really, really good to see. So quickly, I'm going to show you one more thing. And that is basically the breakdown of the sectors. So healthcare is about 21, information technology 17. These are basically the top three is actually the top perform like really well performing um, sectors in the US basically right now okay so it's good to see that it's basically more or less the weighting is quite nice I think um, I don't like the fact that it's got about almost 12% of energies maybe that should have been about two or three and maybe move up you know consumer discretionary but again it's well balanced because that's that's what ETFs do okay so that is the BlackRock ETF and I'm going to quickly show you the basically what's going on with it when it comes to the price, if I can find it. So in terms of the share price, it's about 29 at the moment. And if you look at this, okay, so since last six months, basically it's up about 15%. Year to date, so that is basically January to right now, it's up about 7.5% or 7.5%. For a year, okay, it's up by 23%. So can you imagine if you put ten thousand pounds into this, you up for one year you up to about almost a twenty three percent. For five years, okay, you would have had fifty seven percent. You would have doubled your money basically. So the price share has actually doubled, okay, basically in the last five years. So again, because some of the companies in here are very solid companies that we well know, like the you know Johnson and Johnsons, and there are loads of different companies in there so if you're interested just click this link here and it will give you a spreadsheet full of the all the stocks that basically all the companies are in there and you can inspect and see what you like and what you don't okay all right so the next one we're going to look at is amal this is basically um, an etf from a company called han or han etf i've never come across this until very very recently it actually appeared on my um i've checked on I was looking for basically should I comply to ETFs on um, trading two and two and then I came across this then I did a little bit more research and found out about the company then I found the ETF that if they actually have they've got two versions of this so they've got the US version and they have the UK version as well so one in basic trading dollars and the other one is trading in pounds but I think the 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 one that's trading dollars I think is more for the Europeans because it is actually as you can see is available in different countries okay so you can buy them I think you can buy them in the Borsa which is Italian you can buy the UK and you can buy I think in Germany as well um, or other Europeans so it depends because because it's available on trading two and two I think it's definitely available in Germany and Denmark and other com uh, uh, countries as well so this one as you can see it says Amal is ETF is an active fund managed by Sanla. Now, what that means is active fund managed. So is this is actively managed ETF. In comparison to the iShares, iShares, they will buy the shares and they will rebalance it once or twice a year. Whereas this one, the person who's managing it, the manager could potentially buy and sell on daily basis. Okay, and that does happen. And that's one of the difference between the two. And because of that, you're actually paying quite a bit for that. Okay, you're paying one, basically almost one percent for someone to actually manage this ETF. Okay, so the total expense ratio for this one is actually one dollars because of that. Okay, whereas the other ETFs, there's a low cost, like low maintenance because they don't really have to do much. They change it once or twice a year and that's it. Okay, there's only 20 to 35 companies. So they haven't actually specified. And the reason for that is because it's actively managed. So it could be 20, 21, all the way to 35. So the maximum they will have is basically 35 companies. Now this, for me, this is really small. We're looking at almost the 330 something in the other one. And this one is only 35 maximum. To me, I can do that. You know, my I've got about 30, almost 30 different um, companies in my um, portfolio. So again, I, that's one of the things, that's one of the negatives that stood out for me straight away. The fact that it's actively managed, 
the cost of it as well as the fact that it's actually only 35 different companies but let's have a look at some companies because i'll tell you in a second is actually some of the companies are really really good now having said that alibaba is on the top now let's have a look at because it's only 35 different companies the weightings will be obviously a lot more on the top so if you can see that's nine percent for alibaba Novartis is about five percent i think cobra is basically a i think it's i can't remember exactly where the i think it's japanese company okay then you've got this company which is basically roger holdings which is a um i believe is a healthcare um company it's swiss as well or is it german i think it's german is it german no it's swiss i wrote it down somewhere i think it's a swiss um yeah swiss multinational healthcare company absolutely okay so five percent and then another five percent on another five percent so you can see stage basically group is by the way is a british so that's the one i actually straight away i knew obviously i know johnson and johnson samson but that one i definitely knew because they do like accounting packages the software side of things so that again another 4.7 percent um so no fee i think is french I remember watching the news recently and it wasn't negative it wasn't positive news i can't remember exactly what they did something was going on with this company and then you've got philip which is dutch and then you've got basically samsung which you know i'm sure and then you've got johnson and johnson so as you can see quite a bit of the stocks at almost 10 percent if anything happens to alibaba you know that basically you're going to lose 10 percent on that come basically on this etf but i like the fact that it's actually weight basically the weighting is heavy on the european side of it okay that's really good because i've been looking into companies like that i can invest that are in europe because i'm trying to diversify my portfolio rather than just focusing in the us we can focus in the uk as a uk and the other europeans okay so that is basically the overall and the top 10 basically companies okay let's have a now look at the rest of the stocks so you've got up to here i think we've seen so far you've got nestle there you've got boston you've got procter and gamble you've got apple um, laboratories you've got medronics which is again the u.s healthcare company you've got uh, skywork solutions you've got mondelez as well all of these are u.s based companies but they are very small in terms of the overall weighting okay so when you look at it you're looking at about two three percent for the rest of them but they're heavily weighted and again there's a little bit of disparity between he, what it says in here and what it says on the other sheet as well so this is basically something they provided for us so 30 companies expensive ratio one new very new by the way we only started i think it only started september this year so it's quite new so there's no data to track and tell us basically what's going on but what you could do is just go to the fund holdings have a look at that okay have a look at the some of their information they provided this is a good place to look at as well um because that will give you overall some of the information that you need so it will give you some of the like a key investor information is in here and when you sc scroll down you can see what they're saying about sharia compliant so again it tells you the fact that um like a interest bearing debt and the deposits do not exceed 33 percent blah blah so you can see basically how they came about basically um putting out this whole thing together you can look at the risk you can basically look at the fact of what does it mean when it says actively um active management risk and so on so there's quite a bit of information in there if you want to look into more details to be honest with you i really i do like this but the only issue i have with this is the fact that it's actively managed the basically is one percent of your overall you know basically you're paying one percent every single year of all on of your total um, investment so again that's for me that's a little bit too much is a very new so i wouldn't probably invest it straight away i might wait maybe a year or so and then see check it out again hopefully by then it will be well established they might actually have a better companies they might you know add a couple of more companies into the etf because at the moment to have only 30 basically 35 different companies i think that's very very small considering when we have something available you know something like this available to us where you've got uh, you know hundreds of hundreds and companies that are very much well diversified companies that we know that are all around the world again if you want to know more information click just show and you can see they more or less have the same companies but this has more okay and the reason i'm saying this is because you're actually reducing your risk 
by having 33, basically by having all, basically over 300 companies in comparison to only 33. So have a look at it, both of them anyway. Um, the final thing I'm going to show you is how to find them. So if you go to um, Trading212 and you just type Islamic, okay, the first thing you will find is basically all the types of the the three that I have ticked the all iShares so that's the emerging markets this is one is the US and this is the one that you're looking for ISWD and if you just click it doesn't give you any information but it tells you the price and all that stuff you can look at it basically how much is trading and basically that's it the other one you just have to look for Sharia so if you type Sharia that basically you will get okay what you will get is those two now the difference is one is basically trading in dollars the other one is trading in pounds so you can see this one is only about six dollars and six pounds in comparison to basically paying 29 so if you're looking for maybe something cheap and you want to diversify your portfolio you can see it's very very new it only came out i think this was listed in september and it was listed in here in october and it's straight away as soon as it was listed actually went down to five dollars and it kind of bounced back since so i'm gonna basically put this on my watch list and i'm gonna see how it performs in the next couple of um maybe a year or so and then i'll take from there but yeah if you're interested in etfs in the uk i'm sure they have similar things in the us in fact you have you basically in the us you guys have more than what we have in terms of etfs in terms of actively managed um mutual funds and all that stuff um, so we don't have the much in the UK so I thought you know what it would be interesting to actually do a quick video just to kind of show you what's available what I love about ETFs I haven't invested in this I'm actually looking into investing in this um, maybe in the next basically uh, maybe around maybe June July time okay I, I'm not sure why but I just want to wait a little bit longer and then maybe put together maybe about a thousand pounds and put it and leave it there so in one time I'm going to put one thousand maybe or and just leave it there for a very long time and i want to track it and see if it actually performs better than some of the stocks that i have and if it is then i'll add to it i'll add a couple of more here and there but i really like this one because it has but the only issue for me will be actually the fact that i'm doubling on some of the stocks that i've already have in my portfolio like johnson and Jobson, procter and gamble and then salesforce and um what else do i have got what else what else what else um rio tinto which is a new stock that i bought recently so there's a lot of companies that are already own in here but not as much as obviously the us one so the us one i had them and i basically got rid of it because a lot of the stocks in this us i basically is already in my portfolio and didn't want to double anyway i wanted to make this video 10 minutes but it's now 17 minutes i'm going to stop there if you're new to this channel and you like this uh, this type of things please subscribe like let me know and please 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 just like this video because and if you basically find anything useful just like the video because it will help others you know other brothers and sisters out there that are looking into investing in the stock market right now is a crazy world where a lot of people are getting into all sorts of dodgy things okay in terms of basically Anyway, there's so much investment crazy stuff going on around the world. I have friends who've actually lost a lot of money because they invested in the wrong things. And all I'm trying to do is basically educate myself and others as much as I can, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. Take care. Bye-bye.